great. So how, uh, how do you feel about the way that uh, Stuart was depicted in the film? It was different. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, not, not quite true life? No, uh, they took a different path than we did, but I think they got the, the point across and ended up in the same place pretty much. Uh, okay. I was very happy with the movie. Okay, and what was, what was your involvement in making the movie? Did they consult you? Oh, a couple of times I, I visited with them, and I met the writer, of course, met Mark a couple of times, you know. Mm -hmm. And maybe all I did was convince him to keep going. And yeah. Rosalind wrote the, wrote the script, and they were very happy with that. So that was the way they went. Okay. How do you feel about the way you were portrayed in the film? I don't think it matters how I was portrayed. <laughs> Films about fathers too. <laughs> did um, Did Mel Gibson work with you directly to get any? Uh, I talked with him a couple times on the radio, on the phone. Okay. And at the time, I we visited, talked about a little bit of everything. But he uh, wanted to try to get my voice down, and it was kind of interesting. He said, uh, "You seem to have a southern influence in your speech," hmm. and actually, that kind of makes some sense. Yeah, and and where are you from originally? Here. Oh, okay. I was born in Helena. Oh, you were born in Helena. Okay in St. Peter's Hospital when it was on 11th Avenue. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very good. Do you think the, uh, the way the events uh, of Stuart's life were portrayed were accurate? They were similar. Similar? Yeah. You know, they kind of pretty much held to the story, but, you know, as far as being precise, it's not a biography. Sure. And Mel said, that they had to do a couple of things a little different in order to make the storyline work and follow through and get where they wanted to go with it. And I, I think they did that pretty well. Okay. Do you think the film uh, did your son justice? Yeah. What do you want people to take away from it? Have faith. Hang in there. Endure. Because you can have a little fun while you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is, uh, is there anything that you learned about, uh, about your son's life as part of this? Anything, anything different that uh, maybe you take away from the experience? No, I think there's enough material for a sequel. I was kidding, Mark. I said, well, you do a father's do too. And, you know, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Said, it took six years to get this one, you know, going. And he said, I don't know that we got another six years. <laughs> <laughs> Very that good. was what he said originally was because of the boxing and the athletics involved in the first part of the story. He said, I only have a few years when I can do this, you know, and pretty soon I won't be able to do that, portray that facet of it any longer. Sure. But there should be enough for work on to come up with something. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna help out with that? Probably, as much as I can. Sure, sure. Okay, well I don't think I had any other questions for you. Is there anything else you wanted to mention? No, I don't have a message. Okay. Watch the movie. Very good. <laughs>